This video is going to help you solve for the missing angles of a triangle, sometimes an exterior angle and or sometimes interior angles. So the first thing you need to know is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if you add the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B and the measure of angle C, that must equal 180 degrees. An exterior angle is formed when the side of a triangle is extended outward. So if you see right here where this line is extended outward, there is an angle formed and it's called an exterior angle. And that angle right now is D. The exterior angle is supplementary with the, with the adjacent interior angle and that's C. This, these are supplementary angles and hopefully you know that a supplementary angle some, some two angles that add up to be 180 degrees called supplementary. So it's a straight line. Lines equal 180 degrees. So the exterior angle, it's supplementary with the adjacent interior angle. So the measure of angle D plus C always is 180 degrees. Or angle D minus I'm sorry, angle D equals 180 minus C. So if they give you C as, say, let's say 60 degrees, let's just say C is 60 degrees, all you would have to do is 180 minus 60, and you would get 120 degrees for angle D. That's just saying if C was 60. This one, a lot of people tend to forget. It's called the... Um, just exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of two non-adjacent angles. And bear with me. The two non-adjacent angles to the exterior angles are A and B. If you add those together, they'll be equal to what to D. So if you have this as let's say 70 and you have this as 40. If you add them up, 70 plus 40, 120 degrees, that's what D would be. So let's put this into practice. Number one says, gives you two angles of a triangle, but you're missing one. So I'm going to add the two angles of a triangle, the triangle together. And I have 115 degrees. 180, since the triangle is 180 altogether, this plus this plus this has to be 180. If I add 45 and 70 together, get 115. I would get the missing, which is 65 degrees. This one here says that X and X are going to be equal to each other. So we still do 180 minus 110. So you get 70. Now, since there are two angles that are equal to the same measure, 70 divided by two would be 35 degrees. 35 degrees would be the measure of both of these angles. So number three is probably uh, getting into the tougher and uh, tougher questions because of the exterior angle X. There are a couple of different ways that you could do this. You could use that theorem where the non-adjacent two two non-adjacent angles, if you add them together, is equal to the exterior angle. I'm going to do that right now. 62 plus 51, just like we did on the other page, that must equal. the exterior angle, so it's 113 degrees. But still, now you have a couple of ways that you can do this one. Here's your straight line. And this little part of Y must be with X. If you're adding 113 plus this Y, that must be 180 degrees altogether. So I'm going to subtract 
and get 67 degrees. And that was that would be your measure of y. There are there is another way to do it. You could just add 62 plus 51. Again, you get 113, then subtract 180 from 113, just like you did before, and you would get 67. But then you would have this angle here, but not x. You do 180 minus 67, and you would get 113. So there's different ways to do that. But the easiest way is to, is to remember that rule where the non, two non-adjacent angles, if you add them together, is equal to the exterior angle. 62 plus 51 is 113, and therefore, the exterior angle is 113. So number four, here we go again. We need this x. So I'm a little bit confused, but all right. This little part here, I know that I can get that because here's this straight angle. 180, it's exactly what I see first, is 70 degrees. So this is 70. Well, I know that this is 90 and this is 70. Well, I'm going to add them together. I get 160. I know that X is not 160, but... All the angles, interior angles of a triangle have to add up to be 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 180 and subtract 160 from it, and I get 20. A little tougher question. Here we go. But I noticed that the straight angle is staring me right in the face, and here it is. All right, I'm just going to do 180 minus 120. When in doubt, just subtract a number from 180. It's a straight line. Triangles, 180. It just keeps on going that way. And, oops. All right. So this angle here is 60 degrees. Since you have two angles of, of interior angles of the triangle, you can just add them together. get 130, and then subtract from 180 because, again, it's a triangle. You get 50 degrees. So if you add up all the interior angles of the triangle, 50 plus 60 is 110 plus 70 is 180. It should be 180 degrees. But just remember, 70, this one, plus this one, the two non-adjacent angles, if you add them together, it's supposed to be equal to 120, and it is. Number six, the toughest question, but everything's a straight line. And I'm going to just take it one step at a time. I see this straight line right here. I know straight lines are 180 degrees, supplementary. So I do 180 minus 30, and let's see what I get. 150. So I got x. Well, I see, I'm just going to go away from that. Here is another straight line. I'm going to do 180 minus 85. I get 95. So I know that y is 95. I'm a little bit confused about this one. I know I have a straight line here. I need this angle. Since I have 30, and I have 85, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those together, interior angles of a triangle, and I have 115. That's not 115, but if you do 180 minus 115, you get 65 degrees. So this is 65. Now I could get Z. Here's your straight line. So I'm going to do, again, 180 minus 65. And that's 115. 
you notice that the alternate, the, uh, the angles, the non-adjacent angles, 85 plus 30 is 115. So every angle that's missing, if, if you just keep in mind that triangles are 180 degrees and straight lines, look for the straight line, you'll be fine. Hope that helps.